Hey there, it's Sunny D. Happy Thursday. I hope that your week is going well, that you're having a blessed night. I am so excited. I just started a step study tonight, which is a program through Celebrate Recovery. And it is a commitment. And it's one where you dig deep and you work on the hurts, habits, and hang-ups. And I feel like there's no better time in my life than right now to do a step study. So I am very, very excited. I will definitely be making late videos on Thursdays. <laughs> But I wanted to share something with you that I just thought was really cool the way they broke this down. It's a Proverbs 31 devotional. And it says, there's an analogy I like to use when explaining the spiritual importance that comes with trials. We all know what is required of us when we want to make physical improvements with our bodies, especially if our goal is to gain muscle. It requires taking our body through some serious trials in the weight room. In those trials workouts, we literally break down our muscle fibers, and it's not in the breakdown process that they grow, it's in the restoration and buildup process that follows. That's the process where we're consuming protein, drinking water and amino acids, resting, eating healthy, etc. Spiritually, it works the same way. For there has to be for there to be a restoration process to grow in, there must first be something we need restored from like trials. So when we go through trials and our spiritual muscle is broken down and we feel completely defeated, what does the restoration process look like? It's a series of choices. We choose to worship instead of worry. We choose to pray instead of panic. We choose to operate in faith instead of fear. When our world is crashing down around us, we stop and talk to the one who created the world. So look at your trials as a spiritual workout. The truth is, it may be very difficult during the workout, but once you make it through, you will be so glad that you stuck it out. Take heart in this. There will be a day soon coming where you'll be able to look back at your trial and say, I'm glad it happened. Because I wouldn't be anywhere near the spiritual warrior I am today if God hadn't taken me through some trials. So pray this quick prayer with me. God, thank you for being by my side through every trial. Thank you for creating purpose out of my pain. Thank you for creating a message out of my mess. God, I speak victory over myself tonight. I believe that I will make it through this spiritual workout. And I believe that everything I'm supposed to learn during this process will come to pass. God, I honor you. I put my faith, hope, and trust in you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I love that right there, and I, I love the reminders, I want to go back to it, where they say to choose worship instead of worry, to choose to pray instead of panic, and to choose to operate in faith instead of fear. Those are so good. Like, I need to commit those to memory. I really do. But, you know, it's so true. We go through these trials, and when we're going through them, we just can't see why it's happening. You know, we're in our flesh, and... We're having struggles and we're like, why is this happening? But I can say that I can look back right now on some of the trials that I've been through, some of the hardest things, and I do see the purpose in them. I do see that God was in it. His hand was in it. And I can look back now and know that it happened for a reason, that I grew from it, that it made me stronger. And I can be grateful, you know, and to think who wants to be grateful for the trials they go through. But when you look at it through those eyes, it really does make a difference. And I just, um, I love to choose worry. I mean, <laughs> choose a worship over worry. And that's something that I do. I apply that on a daily basis. When I'm going through something difficult, I put on my music and I praise him in it. One of my go-to songs is Goodness of God. And even the other day, I was really going through it. And I just decided to put that song on. I got on my knees, I bawled my eyes out, but in the middle of it, my arms were raised and I was still praising him. And um, even, you know, when I think back to losing my mother, you know, that was the single most devastating thing I've ever been through. Um, I see now that, you know, I might not even be where I'm at in my faith and in my walk had I not lost my mother. So something good did come out of that. And now I'm trying to instill that into my son and, um, you know, the, the chronic pain that I deal with, I have degenerative disc disease. And there were so many times where I would cry out to God and say, like, why won't you heal me? Like, why won't you take this away? Enough is enough. And, 
you know, now I can look back and, you know, I, I deal with pain on a daily basis, but I'm able to empathize and come alongside people that deal with chronic pain. And I'm able to, you know, share my testimony of how God has carried me through and that I'm free from opiates now, you know, so there's so many good things that come out of the trials that we go through. So I just want to encourage you that if you're going through a difficult time right now, know that God is at work, that there is a purpose for your pain and choose to worship over worry and don't panic. Just look to him, ask him to be your strength and I promise you he'll do it. He gives us the desires of our hearts if they're in line with his will. And you know, if you need to be freed from something and that's a desire of your heart, I believe that God will hear it and he will answer that prayer. But the key thing is it's in his timing, not in yours. Sometimes that's hard, but I hope that that encouraged you a little bit tonight and I will be back tomorrow. Please don't forget, love God and love others.